and I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Armenia. Thank you. Madam Chair, at the outset, I would like to congratulate you and the members of the Bureau on the assumption of the leadership of the Second Committee and to assure you of my delegation's full support to your efforts in guiding its work. The global crisis caused by COVID-19 pandemic has caused millions of deaths, affected the livelihoods of our societies, and inflicted serious setback on the progress in achieving sustainable development goals worldwide. It has deepened poverty and inequalities with disproportionate impact on the most vulnerable, including women, children, persons with disabilities, and people trapped in conflict situations and humanitarian crises. The United Nations system plays an important role in coordinating the response of the international community to the health crisis and its socioeconomic consequences. We appreciate the cooperation and support of the WHO, UNDP, UNICEF, and other developmental partners in ensuring COVID-19 vaccine deployment to many countries, including Armenia through the COVAX facility and assisting government's socioeconomic programs aimed at addressing the needs of the most vulnerable populations disproportionately affected by the pandemic. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development remains the blueprint for guiding the recovery efforts and building back better. With less than a decade to go, the international community needs to amplify its efforts and boost collective action to get back on track in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. On this path, efficient and strong United Nations, equipped with adequate human and financial resources, is of crucial importance to assist the governments in accelerating the achievement of their development goals. Madam Chair, the pandemic had a detrimental impact on the countries in specific situations, including landlocked developing countries due to their systemic vulnerabilities. Efficient cooperation between the landlocked and transit countries and unblocking of all regional transport communications is key to remove political barriers for the free movement of people, goods, and services, and addressing the consequences of the disruption of supply chains, travel restrictions, and border closures. Accelerated implementation of the collective commitments undertaken by the Vienna Program of Action is crucial to address the structural constraints and specific development challenges of LLDCs and enable full utilization of their economic potential. Madam Chair, incendiary and manipulative rhetoric and threats to use force by some to create so-called corridors manifest continuation of policy and land blockade and unilateral coercive measures run counter to international law and relevant arrangements and are detrimental to peace and sustainable development in our region. Madam Chair, Armenia is pursuing an ambitious and people-centered reform agenda with special focus on human capital development, innovation, green technologies, good governance, combating corruption and reform of judiciary, and has synchronized the SDGs with its priorities by incorporating them into national policies and strategies. The ongoing reforms are aimed at creating conducive environment for unlocking the untapped economic potential of our young people. The economic empowerment of women and youth is an important priority, and our positive record in the area of ICT, in particular significant level of women's participation in the sector, where we have 40% of women's involvement compared to 20% of international average, gives us confidence that we can take leadership and bring our contribution to greater participation of women in science, technology, and innovation worldwide, also in the framework of Action Coalition for Technology and Innovation for Gender Equality of the Generation Equality Forum. Madam Chair, the United Nations Development System is an important partner for Armenia in pursuing its reform agenda. The United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework for Armenia and the UNDP Country Program Document for 2021-2025 set a new milestone for the existing partnership with the United Nations Development System. Guided by the national priorities and 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, these documents set a framework for promoting sustainable and inclusive socioeconomic development 
fostering environmental sustainability and resilience, strengthening effective governance system, and advancing gender equality. Madam Chair, we look forward to fruitful deliberations within the Economic and Financial Committee to advance effective multilateral cooperation for achieving the SDGs in the decade of action. I thank you. I thank the representative of Armenia.